In this lesson, I want to show you how to start to change the items on your page here. So you're probably wondering, man, how do I change this? How do I tweak that? How do I move this? So this is going to show you how to get that started. But once again, all of these here are available to you unless you get the pro version, which gives you a whole lot more. So let's get started. And I want to give you a quick overview here. There's some features that have not you can't really use. Like typically you can be able to see the pages if you want to you know, see all the pages that you have. But you have to get the pro version for that. And you can also be able to add additional pages, but you have to get the pro version um, for that as well on the to do that. So let's go back here. So let's say you want to change this section. You notice as I move my mouse, each section is highlighted. So if there's something that I wanted to change, I can just click here and right off the back, I can change this from right over on this side. So as I'm typing, you see this happen in real time. You can change that. You can scroll down here. You can change this for this. And if I wanted to change this button, I just once again, just click on it and I can change from download now to subscribe now. And let's go with to the content alignment, which is a center. When you put a left, it goes to the left. You put it to the right. It goes to the right. You scroll down. You can choose the font families. Now, remember the Helix Ultimate. Let's go. So I'm going to be going back and forth with these here. But you, with the Helix Ultimate, when you had to choose with the topography, for example, and I mentioned that you can pick and choose the different types uh, of font that you want. Well, you can also do that here. Let's go on the front end here. You can also do that for this as well. So you can choose the font family. The same thing you see there is the same thing that you see here. So you can choose the font family for this particular section. So I'm going to choose, you know, something like that. You notice that it automatically changed the button for that. Let's put that back at the center. So whatever font family that I want, I could change it to changes that. And for the button style, I can click thin. I can choose extra light, dark, and I can choose all those different things that you see here. And for the link, this is where when someone clicks on the button is going to link to that It's going to open up in a new window or same. You click this drop down and it shows you for the parents. Do you want the button to be gradient as I change it? That changes there. outline uh, 3D. So you have a lot of flexibility to do that. And what button size do you want? You want extra large? It gets a lot bigger. Do You want extra small? So based on where this button is going to go, you can, you know, choose the correct size here and the button shape. You want a square. You notice it's a little square round uh, for the fluidity. You want to full width. When you click full width, it expands all the way through and you click no for the mar margins for the you can add icons, too. So I'm just going to choose anything here. You notice you have the icon. You can choose to add the icon on the left or the icon on the right. If you don't want the icon, you just delete it and it's going to take that off for you. So you go down to the margins. You don't have to worry about that now. But if you want to play with the margins, you can do that. And one thing too here with the margins, anytime you see this like here, whatever number that you put, it is going to do this across the board. So if you put five or four it's going to show four, you know, for the, you know, the top, right, bottom and the left. And you can choose the icon position. You can add custom CSS. So I want to share edit the button. So now let's move over here to uh, this section. Same thing. This section, you can just choose the image that you want. So let's say that you don't want this image. You click to remove and you choose choose to upload. And then I can say, hmm, I don't want that image, but I want this one. You can upload from and click cancel here. You can choose to upload a file from your computer or you can choose whatever image that you want there. So I was going to choose this one and choose insert. So now I've inserted this image right there. So that's how I'm able to change content. I can click. You, got, you see how simple it is. You know, I can click. I can click. I can click. I'm just clicking if I wanted to edit that. Whatever section that you click on, just look on the left navigation bar and you're going to see some some of the changes that you can make there. Now, one thing I want to show you, too, let's click on this one. You have three tabs. So you have the general, you have the style and you have the advanced. Now, with the style, this allows you to style the page a certain. Well, let's say you want to change the link color for this particular section here. 
Um, you can do that if you wanted to enable a background. I want you to really just play with this because as I mentioned before, and I'm going to say it again, the best way for you to learn is for you to try new things and see how it looks on your end. You know, sometimes you realize that, hey, I like how this look. I don't like how that looks. So use the borders. You can be able to add borders. So each item here gives you three options. You have the general, you have the style, and you have the advanced. The advanced is just saying you can add a custom width. You can hide on desktop, on you know tablet, or mobile. So if you don't want this to, you know, show on there, then you can do that. So let's go back here. So that is how you edit things.